Hello, my name is Caden Stevens and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco. I want to talk to you today about Cisco's iOS naming convention. This presentation is geared towards routing platforms only, but one could use what is learned here and apply it to other Cisco products and software as well. The whole point of having any naming convention for something is to keep things consistent and uniform. Having a convention to follow provides ground rules for professionals to stick to what's known in an effort to provide clear and concise information for present day and future employees and those who work with Cisco products. Before we get into some examples, first we'll jump into iOS XE. Here's a brief overview of iOS XE version 16, 17, and 3S releases. iOS XE opened up a new world starting with Denali by offering more visibility into user, application, and device behavior. The benefit of iOS XE is the advantage of providing a single operating system for enterprise, wired and wireless access, aggregation, core, and wide access networks. Our latest iOS XE train is Cupertino. iOS XE version 3S is optimized for compact routers at the network edge like the Cisco ASR 900 and 1000 series. Okay, let's break down our first iOS XE release. Our train here is the name Bangalore, and this will be different as we take a look at iOS Classic later on in this presentation. We have a major release version of 17 and a release version of 6, and it is the first rebuild. There is also an A, which is an optional special release identifier. This lowercase letter will be present when there's specific support for a hardware platform or there are fixes for a select set of defects. An example where you would use the special release notation is when the major release came out, but there is now a hardware platform that wasn't initially available from that release. ED here is the type of deployment and means early deployment. There are also general and limited deployments as well. Starting with the Catalyst 8500 series edge platforms, first we see that the platform name is indicated right in the front. Next, AEP means aggregation edge platform, and as you'll see soon, BE could be placed here as well. Next is an identifier letting us know the services provided by this image. In this case, universal means that this image offers all the Cisco iOS features supported by the C8500 series edge platforms. Other examples of what could be placed here could be NFVIS or Enterprise, just to name a couple. Following, K9 represents that this is a cryptographic image. Then you'll see the full version release, which is 17, dot five dot one a maybe you've seen the letters spa in your file name before i won't get into the detailed information as i have what these values mean in the references portion of my slides but basically s means it is digitally signed software p stands for production and a is the key version which is alphabetical so it can also be b c d and so on then followed by the file extension type of bin Hopefully you're getting a feel for things a bit more. I'm going to start speeding it up and going through some more routing platforms and the breakdowns. Here, what's new is the BE after the platform name. This stands for Branch Edge. On this ASR 1000 series router image, there are two new elements, the iOS D version identifier and the release type. We can see that the version for iOS D is 15.5. The D in iOS D stands for daemon. That's D-A-E-M-O-N. A daemon is a Linux program that executes in the background, ready to perform an operation when it's required. This is software that incorporates the routing protocol functionality of Cisco IOS software, and is essentially Cisco IOS software code that runs as a separate process on a device. The release type here is EXT, which means that this image contains an extended maintenance release of 3.10s. On the ISR 4000 series, there are IAS and non-IAS images. IAS here is telling the user that there are four different licenses available with this image. I means IP base, A, application experience, and S is SEC or IPSEC. The CSR 1000V is a virtual platform. Serial here signifies that this image is a serial image, meaning if you want a serial connection for the OpenStack dashboard, you need this image type. QCOW2 is the storage format that is used for virtual disks. I'll also do a brief overview of different iOS version 15 releases. Starting off is iOS version 15 MNT. 
The Cisco iOS software provides functionality and hardware support for enterprise, access, and commercial networks, and it incorporates features that were previously introduced in versions 12.4T and 12.4 trains. Here, M stands for Extended Maintenance Release, and the T stands for Standard Maintenance Release. Next is 15S, which was introduced to provide functionality for Cisco's 7200, 7300, and 7600 series routers. And Cisco iOS 15 also has a section for special and early developments, but these trains were intended to be short-lived and got integrated into the 15 M and T train. So, if you've been listening, you have heard me mention the word train a couple of times. That is part of the terminology used when referring to iOS XE and iOS Classic. In iOS Classic, you'll see that these trains are a bit different here, and we'll also talk about throttles and rebuilds as well that make up an iOS version. So first off is the train, and although it may be a bit self-explanatory, you could think of the train as the major version of the release. This number is the head honcho of the bunch and sets the foundation for the iOS feature set. The T here is also part of the train and means the release is a standard release as mentioned previously. The throttle is second and it signifies a minor version where some new features and bug fixes may have been added. New features are normally not released during a throttle, what you would actually call mid-throttle, and must wait for a new throttle to be started before they are included. A rebuild number typically signifies where some bug fixes would occur. Rebuilds can have a number convention, an alphabetical lowercase letter convention, or even a mix of both. These three attributes make up a Cisco iOS release version, but as you'll see soon, this can be expanded on to provide more detailed information to the user when looking at Cisco iOS images. Taking an image name from the 1900 series ISRs, we can view some added information. First, we see that the platform name is indicated right in the front. Next is the universal identifier we talked about previously. Following, K9 represents that this is a cryptographic image. NPE stands for No Payload Encryption. MZ indicates that the version of the Cisco iOS image runs from RAM and the iOS file is compressed. The digital signature SPA, as we previously discussed, the iOS version is in here as well, being 15.7.3. M is the release type again, meaning that is an extended maintenance release. And there is also an included maintenance rebuild number, which is 9. And bin is the file format type for the image. I'd like to say a big thank you for watching this presentation, and I really do hope the information that was provided was helpful and will be used as a resource. I've also included reference slides for different definitions and more insight to the Cisco iOS release naming convention. Take care.